adrenaline prepares the body for a fight or a flight situation. It causes the sudden increase in the rate of metabolism when the body encounters an adverse condition. Thyroxine, which is secreted by the thyroid gland, causes or provides energy for the replenishment of burnout cells and also provides energy for cell division which helps in the growth of a man. Now mineralocorticoids given out by the cortex of the adrenal gland helps in mineral metabolism. That is, it tells the kidney to retain the sodium and excrete out the potassium. And lastly, the glucocorticoid, which is another cortical hormone, that is, it is secreted by the adrenal cortex, helps in the glucose metabolism. It helps in the conversion of uh, glucose from proteins and fats when the glucose reserve in the body is diminished. Now, who is regulating the secretion of all these glands? Well, there is a gland in the brain, this one. that controls the secretion of all these glands. This gland in the brain is known as the pituitary gland and it is the master gland of the body because it stimulates the secretion of hormones from all other endocrine glands. So since pituitary gland enhances or stimulates the secretion of all other glands, it must be having stimulating hormones which it secretes. Well, yes, the pituitary gland secretes one such stimulating hormone which is known as the thyroid stimulating hormone. This thyroid stimulating hormone goes to the thyroid and stimulates the thyroid to secrete thyroxine. Now, another such stimulating hormone that the pituitary gland secretes is adrenocorticotropic hormone. Tropic means to stimulate. Now, what does this hormone stimulate? Well, as the name suggests, this hormone stimulates the adrenal cortex to, to liberate and secrete its cortical hormones, namely the mineralocorticoid, and glucocorticoid. Now, thyroxine helps regulating metabolism. It provides energy to replace dead, burnout cells and also provides energy for growth because of cell division. Now, the quantity or the level of thyroxine in the body is always limited. So, it is not enough to cause growth in the body alone. So it requires an additional hormone to cause the growth in the body. So the pituitary gland secretes another hormone known as the growth hormone which causes the increase in cell division and hence growth. Now if this hormone is secreted in higher amounts, it causes a condition in the body known as gigantism. Gigantism means great increase in the height. Look at this man. This is a normal average man with a normal average height. And look at this man. According to 2011 survey, this man was the tallest man on earth because he was suffering from gigantism because of greater secretion of growth hormone.
Now, under secretion of growth hormone would mean lesser number of uh, cell divisions. So see, that causes a condition in the body known as dwarfism. When the person's growth becomes stunted. According to 2013 survey, this man is the shortest man on earth. And he is short because of the under secretion of growth hormone from the pituitary gland in the brain. Now over secretion of growth hormone from the pituitary gland over the growing years causes gigantism. Now, while if a person is suffering from gigantism, the body becomes very large, but the body proportions are almost normal. But if the growth hormone suddenly increases in adulthood, then what happens is the extremities of the body, like the nose or the chin and the fingers, they increase in size abruptly. See, this is a normal hand. This is a hand of a person suffering from this disease. See, the fingers have increased in size because these are the extremities of the body. This disease is known as acromegaly, where acro means the extremities, that is the extremities of the body. And megaly means very large. So over secretion of growth hormone in the growing years causes gigantism. And over secretion of growth hormone in adult years causes acromegaly. So who controls the pituitary gland? We know that brain is the controller of the entire body. So brain must be controlling the pituitary gland as well. Now which part of the brain? Well this part, if you enlarge it, see this is the pituitary gland and it hangs from this part of the brain which is known as the hypothalamus. Why hypothalamus? Because it is placed below the thalamus. This part of the brain is the thalamus and this is the hypothalamus which controls the pituitary gland.